Welcome back to Newsday. Heavy floods triggered by seasonal rains destroyed crops and houses at displacement camps in Meduguri, the capital of Bornu State in northeastern Nigeria. No fewer than 15 corpses have been recovered from flooded river Ngadabal in Meduguri. The Northeast Coordinator of the National Emergency Management Agency, Mohamed Yusman, said there had been an increase in cases of drowned people in the flooded river. And he added that many communities along its banks in Meduguri had been severely affected by the floods. He called on parents and guardians to caution their children against swimming in the river. A report by President Muhammadu Buhari on Tuesday claimed that half a million Nigerians have been affected by floods caused by heavy rains since the start of 2022. 23 states are affected by seasonal flooding, with northeastern states particularly hard heat this year. For the past eight years, we haven't farmed the land, but this year we did, but we have been very unfortunate. The floods came and destroyed our farms. For the past 20 years, we haven't witnessed such heavy floods, but they've come this year and indeed destroyed our farms, properties and even some lives as well. Even yesterday, we found one dead body here floating on the water. I no longer have a shelter. It was destroyed by the flood. As you can see, I am sleeping here and look at how wet my clothes are. Of course, this water came with heavy force to an extent in this area only. It destroyed over 30 houses and killed many, especially children. A collective effort is required to harness and preserve water resources in Nigeria and globally. This is the consensus at the forum featuring collaboration between the Nigerian Economic Summit Group and the United Nations Global Compact Network, amongst others. The group has launched a business council of the CEO water mandate for Nigeria towards sustaining water resources with the theme a risk-based approach for sustainable water resources. There is optimism amongst stakeholders that Nigerian businesses would encourage the culture of optimizing water usage for economic growth and productivity. Nigeria is the first African state signatory to the CEO water mandate, requiring it to take steps to preserve its water resources. I urge you to register for the 28th Nigerian Economic Summit through the NESG website to join other experts and stakeholders in articulating a plan for Nigeria with clear priorities for shared prosperity in 2023 and beyond. We are all exposed to the, the changes in the climate situation. Uh, I mean, a couple of statistics in terms of how many people are getting less and less access to safe water. Uh, and how that is impacting the business, we all have them. But I believe that the, the path to making this giant uh, leap forward is that of collective action. But obviously, we know what's happening with water um, globally. Um, we identify that um, there's a need for us to be proactive in managing that water, so we don't go into a crisis mode um, before we start managing water. So what we've done um, as NESG and UN Global Compact is to come together and to bring um, businesses together for us to begin to have conversations and to have a collective approach. We launched the CEO on water mandate in Nigeria just two years ago, but the mandate has been there since 2007. And so global brands have been part of this mandate and they have seen the benefits. And so for each entity, they have you know, come to share the benefits, whether for the organization or the communities where they operate. Now for Nigeria, we have today started action. Action meaning first, let's raise the profile, but also let's get CEOs to sign up. A number of CEOs have signed up already, Nigerian companies, and for the multinationals, their CEOs are already part of the mandate. When you look at sustainability, it's 360 degrees. That means that you have to think about not just your company, you go beyond that to think about the industry. You go beyond that to think about the community. And when you talk about the community, you're talking about the people who live within these communities. And as businesses, we are a part of the community. 
And so whatever impacts the community impacts us. On behalf of um, the UN Global Compact, I also want to thank the, the Nigerian Economic Summit Group for the privilege of partnership and uh, hosting this, this event. And we look forward to really working with everybody to bring this commitment to life.